Vegas, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and spooky season is upon us. So I have the boys decorating my spooky basement. Those Christmas lights look great, guys. Fantastic. And to celebrate spooky season, we're gonna be doing one of my favorite things, and that is repaint spirit Halloween masks. I have so many. Okay, guys, so we have this it mask. It looks pretty good already, but there's definitely some room for improvement, especially with maybe the teeth and the hair. The hair looks cool, but we can make it even more realistic. I think I'm gonna start off by covering everything in latex to give it more of like a skin look instead of this plastic, you know? So here we go. Go ahead and grab our latex. Oh, yes. I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this. I'm even doing his mouth right here. I'm probably gonna end up modifying his mouth a little later. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be exciting. Now that the latex is nice and dry and he has brand new face, brand new skin, yeah, that definitely adds a layer of realism to this. We're gonna go ahead and start painting all this makeup back on. I'm gonna start off with some acrylic uh, matte white paint. I'm just gonna start painting this right onto his face. Wow. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this off to the side for a little bit and let it dry. And while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the teeth out of these acrylic nails. I think that he should have really sharp teeth. Traditionally, he doesn't, but you know, we're making him extra spooky, okay? I'm just gonna carefully cut all these guys down just like that. There you go. That's one tooth down. I shouldn't need too many. I might wait to cut all of them just because I don't know the exact size that I need them to be in order to fit into his mouth. Or technically her mouth. It is technically a female spider from space. I hate to ruin the ending for you, but it is technically a girl. Oh yes, there we go. So now that he is completely whited out, we even got the tiniest amount of cracking. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make that crack even more, but we're gonna start working on the teeth. I think I'm gonna carefully, just gonna individually glue each tooth on just like that. There you go. Now that I completely regret my decisions, I'm gonna go in and actually paint the background of the mouth, the inside black. I should have done this first before I put all the teeth in, but I'm not that smart of a guy. I should have done that in retrospect. So I'm gonna do my best and paint around his mouth and paint around his teeth. Try and wipe some of that black paint off. Yeah, there you go, good enough. I decided that I'm just gonna pull all the teeth out because they're just getting in my way right now. Don't worry, I will put them back. Oh no, Ugh, rip. Okay, so I ended up pulling out all the teeth uh, because I just wasn't really happy with how it was turning out. And then I went to our good old friend Spirit Halloween and I managed to find these. These are just some fake teeth. I thought these would fit pretty good. Definitely be kind of like what we're going for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hot glue these in. Actually, maybe I should trim this a little bit. Now that I'm really looking at it, I don't think his gum line should go all the way up there. I mean, maybe he has gingivitis. You never know. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up. There we go. That's a bit better. Now I have to hold it until it dries. So while I wait for the hot glue to fully cure, I actually decided that I'm gonna take some of these eyeballs that I got from Spirit Halloween and put them inside of the mask. Honestly, look how much creepier that looks. I mean, I won't be able to see out of the mask anymore, but come on, that's awesome. And I think I'm actually gonna make the eye holes just a little bit bigger using this Dremel tool. Here we go. Let's see, how's that? Oh, that's fitting a lot better. Just carefully glue it into the eye holes. Stick all that down. That's pretty freaking creepy. Stick in the other one. Oh yes, now that is truly nightmare fuel if you ask me. So he's looking pretty similar to the movie, but now I have to try and repaint his makeup on. I'm gonna use a pencil to sort of draw the outline of where it's gonna go. And then afterwards, I'm gonna paint it all in. And now I think I'm gonna work on his teeth. Just go in and give him some nice pearly whites. Look, I'm not a dentist, but I think that he deserves it. This is definitely not working as well as I thought it would. Yeah, this really isn't working out. It was worth a shot, but I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off. 
It just wasn't meant to be. It did give it a little bit more depth though. So I think the very last thing that I really need to do is add some hair. I mean, the hair that he has is okay, but it would look a lot better if it was real hair in my opinion. Yeah, that's a nice piece of hair right there. If I do say so myself. I might have to do this in a couple sections, but I think I have the basic idea. I can smell plastic burning. Seriously, it smells like it's burning, but I guess that's just what happens when you have a hot glue gun on plastic hair, you know? This is all nightmare fuel. Got it all over his luscious hair. It's another Robbie video, unless I burn myself. Poke it down with the paintbrush. Not gonna lie, he's looking pretty spooky. I have to do a little bit of patchwork on the top of his head over here, but it's fine. Pennywise does not mind being a little bit bald, I'm sure. There we go, stick that on. Ha ha, not bad. So now I'm gonna try using this hairspray and a brush to kind of help hold all of this hair back. You're gonna be the most handsome clown at the party, Pennywise. I can guarantee it. Just get all your hair back there. You're gonna look great. And now I'm just gonna let it all sort of dry back like that. And I'm really hoping that it kind of just stays in place. One hour later. So this one definitely turned out pretty good in my opinion. The only thing I regret is not getting better hair for him because you can kind of see part of the, the wig, but honestly not a big deal. People are never gonna notice, except for you guys, because I just told you. This probably isn't a mask I'd wear, mostly because there are no eye holes. I covered up his eye holes, so that's probably a problem. But dude, I really got him spot on with the teeth. Okay, I'll put it on just for fun, okay? I'll do it for you guys, you ready? Okay, yeah, I don't even know if this is on straight. Oh, I found an eye hole. It's right here, oh, it's on the very side of it. I still can't see very well at all, but it's fine. It looks fantastic. You ready? So now I'm going to try and do the Pennywise dance. How'd that look? Did that look insane? Do I look insane to you? If I did, I'm doing my job correctly. You're welcome. Well, we showed everyone else the masks. We might as well show them this one too. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. Hello, Tori Dabransky. I'm here to show you another fun and exciting thing. What do you have to show me? You ready for it? Yes, maybe. I don't know. Actually, no, I'm not ready. Oh. <laughs> what do you like think? This. Is it's like good? gross. Did you add eyeballs to it? I did. I can't see a thing. <laughs> You look really scared. Yeah. Like what do you it. think of the teeth? Teeth are pretty scary. The teeth fit it very well. I also put real hair. Oh yeah, real? Who did you get it from? Oh! I bought this wig from the dollar store, and then I did my He-Man costume, remember? Oh, yes, I remember now. I just glued the eyes right in. Ooh, if you put some lights behind it, you can make them glow, like the eyes. Oh, dude, that is so terrifying. Honestly, I'm just gonna show the boys this, but I'm gonna make him red. Whoa! Party mode. Or can we keep him like this? Only if you promise to feed him, Robbie. I'll do my best. I'm gonna go show the boys. Dude, this looks so crazy. Look who I brought. He looks ethereal. I really don't like him. He's your friend, that's all. I, I want a new friend. I'm good. He's just a little bit upset. No, he looks like a child. I mean, he makes me uncomfortable. What, children make you uncomfortable? Do you hate kids? Yeah, do you hate kids, huh? <laughs> you guys are gaslighting me. I just don't like this guy. <laughs> Look, I can even change the colors. Woo! Anyway, boys, thank you so much for checking out my masks. Oh my gosh, what are you working on? Your thumbnail. Why would you give Hair Jordan so many eyes? I just thought it looked creepy and I really liked it. Oh my gosh, this gives me a good idea. Oh no. Okay, so here is our little gizmo guy. How many of you guys have seen Gremlins? Let me know down in the comments down below. It was one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid, so this is gonna be a lot of fun for me. The first thing I think I wanna do is make his skin-like parts a little bit more skin-like. <laughs> So, you know what time it is. It's latex time. Yep, just a bunch of latex, you know? Just put the latex all over his little nose, all over his little mouth, you know? Just make it cute, make it frilly. Do your thing, Gizmo. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over his eyes. Just all up in his eye. All up in the other eye hole. Perfect. Now we just gotta do his little ears. And now we just let the latex dry for a little bit. The latex is dry and it looks a bit more human-like. Not bad. But I was just staring at his ears and I just thought, Gizmo's ears? 
doors? They're so much longer. They extend, like they should be out here, right? So I think I'm actually gonna make Gizmo's ears even bigger. I thought of a few different ways to do this, but ultimately I think the best way is to add some rope and get a little bit of wire to help his ears stay in place and just basically make an extension of his ear. So I'm gonna do my very best to try this. Hopefully it doesn't turn out really bad. But the first step of this I think I'm gonna do is actually carve out this little piece right here using my Dremel tool. That's actually dead. Oops, let me get a different Dremel tool. This one's cordless, so take that battery. Anyway, I'm gonna take my Dremel tool and just carve this out. And just put the rope right in there, and boom, it's an extension to his ear. So now that we got a good length on his ear, let's try like right here. Now we flip it around, do the other side. Boopity boop. And we're gonna go ahead and glue these guys in. Boopity boop. So now I'm gonna go in and try and insert this malleable wire into the rope. Boopity boop. Should just go right in there, hopefully. <laughs> Takes a little bit of coaxing, I guess. I think that cutting it into a point is probably what's gonna help me the most. I'm gonna try just grinding it down. So I went and grinded the tip down to a point using my belt sander, but you guys can do that using any kind of sandpaper. It'll just take a little longer. Oh, that's going in so much easier now. I'm just kind of do a twisting motion. Be real careful not to stab myself. Okay guys, so I got this one fully in, but it took a while. Like I was just kind of struggling doing it. I noticed that it was mostly a twisting motion to get it in. So what I did was I put the wire inside my drill. I sharpened the end and made it as straight as I could. I'm gonna try and just put it straight into this rope. Just carefully insert it into the rope. Wow, that's really working. I mean, it definitely wasn't as clean as the other side, but I got it in and that's all that matters, I guess. I'm just gonna hot glue that one down. <laughs> Hopefully this holds it. I think it will. So now that I do that, I'm gonna make some supporting uh, wires coming out for his ears using basically the same method. Looks good, let's add some wires. So this side is done and it doesn't look bad. I definitely wish I made them a little bit longer. Oops. Um. <laughs> Almost more like a gradient, like coming out. One other thing I wish I did different is I wish I kind of put all of them together and twisted them together so they'd stay in place. Because before I was just kind of feeding one off of the other one. So I actually came up with a method of making these wires super straight and way longer. The first step is getting my wire, putting it in my drill. Then I straighten it as much as I can using my hands. And once I get it basically as straight as I can, I go over to my vise and I put the wire in the vise. And I twist the drill until I have a perfectly straight wire. And since it's twisted up, it actually reinforced the wire. So now it's a lot less malleable to bend and it's actually a lot stronger. Anyway, that was just a fun little thing that I found out I could do. So I'm gonna keep it on and just Start putting all these wires into place. I'm gonna try and do a really long one. I feel like this is gonna get dangerous really quick. And there we go. Now that I got all the wires in place, I'm actually gonna try a method from a video that I tried recently called More Spooky Halloween SFX Makeup by 5 Minute Crafts and TikTok, where basically I get some of this tape. This is like medical tape in a first aid kit. And I'm gonna put this over his ears like this. I might use a different tape actually. Oh yes, this one looks good. And essentially just fleshing out Gizmo with this tape and his ears. There we go. That looks already so much better than the other side. He just needed longer ears and this was the move. And he looks way more proportionate than before. Now it's time for us to add latex. Uh, so first I'm gonna go ahead and put down some of this parchment paper so I just don't get it everywhere. Honestly, I should have done this the first time, oops. And we just begin applying our latex. Just pour it all on there. Honestly, this is probably the best way to do it. Maybe, I don't really know. So now the boy is all covered in latex. I'm gonna go ahead and recover his mouth actually because some of the latex fell off. Now that he's nice and covered in latex, we're gonna let him dry again. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and kind of add like a flesh tone to the latex on this guy. I mostly need to do it on the ears because now the white is way different. This is all coming together really good. Look at that, nice and floppy, and it kind of looks like bone inside. I'm just gonna take my makeup and just splatter it right on there and then just blend it in. Fun fact guys, this is the makeup that I use on my face. So in a way, Gizmo is gonna be the same uh, flesh tone as me, which is kind of funny. <laughs> 
Okay, so our gizmo's looking pretty good. His ears are looking very fleshed out. And honestly, I think the ears are a huge improvement. So now, instead of this plastic finish, we're gonna go ahead and give him real fur. I have two different kinds of fur. Ironically, I think I got both of them from Spirit Halloween. I don't even know what this is for. So I'm just gonna use some of this uh, tacky spray adhesive I got from Walmart to help me stick the fur onto his little furry face. Oh, these are like leg warmers, I guess. So how funny. These are like, are supposed to warm your legs, but instead we're gonna use it to warm your heart. So using a pair of scissors, I'm just gonna go in. And now I have to cut the pieces so that they line up with his little brown hair. There is grain in this fur, so I also wanna match the grain on his fur. So based on the reference photo, it kind of works its way on the outside of his face. So it'll kind of go out like this. There we go, that definitely covers his face. <laughs> now I have to make holes for his eyes, the white fur. I'm just gonna make an approximate insertion around his mouth. Okay, not bad so far. I'm just gonna inch it slightly bigger and bigger. Ooh, I gotta cut out his little nose hole. There we go, we got his mouth. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with his eyes. Not bad, he's definitely starting to look more like Gizmo. Now I have to carefully figure out where the white has to go. This is definitely difficult. Now I'm gonna cut the white to sort of fit into these three pieces. Okay, now I just have to glue all this down. And just carefully, a little white on there. And there we go. He turned out absolutely fantastic. I love this. This is like a drastic improvement from the original. I think I did a really good job. I mean, I got hair all over my fingers now, but this was absolutely worth it. Look how freaking cute he is. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll try it on my face. I'm gonna have to say that Gizmo turned out so good. Look it, before, after. Before, after, what the heck? He looks, oh my gosh. I am so happy with this. I'm gonna go ahead and try the mask on. Admittedly, I can't see very well now because when I put latex over the eyes, it just covered everything up. Look at me. I'm Gizmo. Guys, I have a good idea. I saw this Gizmo onesie from Tori. Honestly, I didn't even need to make the mask. Look at this, this face. I am Gizmo. Gizmo! I also have these furry slippers. I mean, they don't really match him very well. I mean, it's better than my socks, right? And now I have fluffy feet. Woo, woo, woo. Now let's put on our mask. I'm gonna go show the boys. Oh look, a bench. What do you think of my gizmo? Do you like it? I'm Gizmo! Benj, I'm your new friend Gizmo! Is it a good mask, Benj? Where even is he? There he is. Do you like my mask? Is it a good mask? I'm a good mask. I can't tell if he likes it or not. Oh hey Trevor, I'm Gizmo! <laughs> it's actually really, really good. You like my, I can't see anything, and it keeps slipping off my face, <laughs> and I keep getting hair in my mouth, but besides that, <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Do you like the ears? I really do a good job on the ears. Right? my head. Oh, intern! Hi. Hey, intern! What do you think of my gizmo mask? Bro, I don't know who's gizmo. You've never seen gremlins? I've never seen the gremlin, bro. I don't know what you're supposed to be right now. Look at me. I'm gizmo. You look funny, but that's it. I think you look amazing. Thanks, Trevor. Uh, bro, you're goofy. <laughs> I truly value your opinion. You're goofy. Whatever, intern. Anyway, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this transformation absolutely works. Oh, you're Chewbacca! <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm taking my son with me. Bye, Chewbacca. I'm gonna go ahead and ask for someone's opinion who I actually care about. Let's go down to Tori Dabransky's spooky basement. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Oh, Gizmo! Gizmo! Oh my god, Rob, you're so cute. I'm Gizmo, you see? You want me to be Gizmo Can forever? Can you just be Gizmo forever? <laughs> oh my god, you're so cute. No, put it back on. Oh my god, you're so cute. Oh, this is my friend now. Oh hey, my god, I love him. We are both Gizmo. He's my little friend now. Feeling him. Wait, I wanted to sing. So cute. Did you kiss me? I, I did. can't see very well in this at all. Oh, it's so cute. Well, I'm glad Tori Dabransky likes it. That's the only real opinion that I cared about. I gotta go. This is very hot, actually. No, <sighs> I'll, see, I'll see you later. No. I gotta go. Okay guys, so up next we have the Wicked Scarecrow. Ah, just gonna take that off, don't need that anymore. This is already pretty spooky, but there's definitely a little bit of room for improvement. The first thing I need to do is make sure that he doesn't you know, go flat like this. 
So I actually bought this uh, head from Spirit Halloween. Gentlemen. He's a two-faced guy. I'm just gonna go ahead and shove him right inside the mask. Let's see if I can do this without damaging it. Fits <laughs> like a glove! So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is take some of this hay off. Just be real careful and remove this. It almost looks like they just kind of threaded it through little holes, which, you know, it works. Like, this completely works. I'll take note for how to put it back on. So now that we got most of the hay removed, and this guy keeps falling over, and that's something that we really don't want, so we actually made a little stand for him. And now he just stays perfectly face up. These teeth already look really good, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how I'm gonna outdo these teeth. Maybe by adding real teeth? Ha ha! I guess the only thing I can really do is replace these teeth with these teeth. Maybe make this look more realistic. As you can tell, this looks a lot more real than this. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add burlap all over his face. Oh, and also, this is supposed to be real skin, so let's add some latex to that to maybe help that out a little bit. I do know that I'm just adding latex to latex, but you know, this is just gonna make it more latexy. I'm just making this up as I go along, okay? Just go ahead and get it all up in his mouth. Does that taste good, huh? I really don't wanna get it on his teeth, so I'm just gonna take another brush and just kinda brush it off. I swear, I spend most of the time making this video just waiting for latex to dry, and my hypothesis was correct. It looks exactly the same as when we started. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I literally just put latex on latex. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the burlap all over his face. We don't need this fake burlap because we got real burlap right here. Let's go ahead and cut it right there. So now we're gonna do our dang best to cut out his mouth hole. And then also his eyes. Yeah, that's already looking pretty nightmare fuel if you ask me. So now I need a good solid rope to tie up his head. I also don't really like how it's all nice right here. We gotta fix that. So we're just gonna cut all that off. We want this to look nice and ragged, you know? It can't look too nice. Before I get too far with this, I'm actually gonna take some of this spray adhesive and spray it all over his face. Well, you know, not on this section, just where I'm putting the burlap. And then we are going to align it with his eyes and his mouth. Oh no! There we go. I'm gonna double it up in some cases. Like in this spot and then fold it over all over the back. Then I'm gonna cut some of the extra stuff off. I'm gonna use a cat to stick it on there because I don't want to get this stuff on my hands. Just keep trimming. Just keep trimming. As they say, this is a face that truly only a mother could love. I'm gonna go ahead and use this twine to sort of tie together his top, getting the adhesive all over me. You can kind of see where the other stuff just peeks out a little bit, so I'm actually going to go in and add some of the trimmings in there. You're never gonna notice that, see? What, it's not all one piece? I had no idea. And we're gonna do the same thing with the bottom part. I forgot that this head is in there. Oh man, I hope I'm able to get this out still. Uh, I don't really need you anymore. Wow, that is extra creepy. So I messed that up a little bit, but that's fine. I would definitely not want to run into this guy. Very spooky, which is exactly what we're going for. I go ahead and tie that off right in the back. There we go, looking good. The top of his head got a little bit messed up, but you know, I can fix that, see? Just tie it around one more time. Okay, I actually went back and I added more burlap. Now he has a ponytail, I love it. But we're gonna kind of break this apart a little bit. Actually, I'm kind of digging that. You see, he has a little hat, but even better if we break it up even more. There we go. Yeah, make it stringy. That looks extra scary. Now he has like a spooky ponytail, you see? I like it. The latex was not for nothing because now it looks like he has a mouth full of goop. The latex accidentally touched itself and now it's just sticking and it looks super gross. Let's see if I can reenact it with the other side. Oh, I did, there we go. So now he's just extra full of gross. Now this guy's looking pretty dang spooky so far. I definitely think he's an improvement over the original, but we're gonna make him even more spooky by adding some fake blood, a little bit of everywhere. Look at that. Oh, that is some spooky shit right there. And this is gonna dry all gross and crusty. Perfect. Let's do the other eye. Oh, that's so creepy. Now let's do the mouth. Wow, this is looking absolutely horrid, but I think we should add some blood kind of like 
all around it too. Just like, you know, some hints of blood a little bit of everywhere. So this is already a crazy improvement. But I think we can make this look even more weathered by bringing in my airbrush and spray painting it different colors. Let's see what we can do here. So I'm thinking it's starting off with some of this black. A boo 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 I haven't used this airbrush since last year, so I'm gonna start on the back to, <laughs> that way in case I mess up. Oh, that's exactly what we want. Perfect. This looks disgusting. Oh, now I'm gonna go ahead and try and use a little bit of this brown. Just go ahead and mix it up in the pen. I'm sure this isn't the proper way to do this. I'm gonna go back and add even more blood. Oh, that doesn't help at all. He's looking pretty freaking spooky now. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with this guy. I'm gonna let him dry for a little bit and then we'll try this bad boy on. He turned out so good. Look how creepy that is. I really didn't want to mess with the teeth much. Honestly, the latex was a good call because now he has all this like gum stuff in his teeth. Do you see, what, what, let me get just, just when you. Hello, how is it going? Guys, should this be the new Toby? Let me know down in the comments down below. <laughs> how is it going everybody? It's great to be here. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy on. Oh no. Guys, it doesn't fit. It no longer fits on my head. <laughs> this is how it's gonna be from now on. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't think I can put my head through the twine. Maybe if I untie it. This is just gonna be one of those masks. You don't really wear a lot because you have to tie it onto your face. Come on, just get it on there. I'm definitely gonna have to put this back on when I'm done. There we go. I cannot see anything in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to tie it on. Ugh. That's definitely nightmare fuel. Where's the iPad? One second. There we go. <laughs> I can't see anything. I hope this looks good. Okay, let's go show some people. What do you think, Ben's gonna like it? Oh. Oh. I hope I didn't scare him too bad. Not see a thing. It's scary walking around in this. Oh, Tori Dabrowski! Oh, gosh. This is so scary. <laughs> I fell down the stairs because I can't see. Oh, hello. What do you think, Kitty? Do you like it? Holy <laughs> I don't think she likes it. What are you doing? I came in here to show you my mask. But I can't see very well. It's a lot scarier than the last one. Tori, I haven't seen your face in so long. I don't think you can see my face right now. Let me feel your face. No. Is it pretty scary? Yeah, it's really scary. Especially like the eyeballs. Did I do a good job on this? You did a very good job. <laughs> Where's your hat? <laughs> Robbie. I can't make it back to the craft corner in this. Oh, I believe in you. Can you walk me up the stairs? I saw it right there, yes. There's one more. Okay. Flat. Go upstairs. Beautiful. You're doing great. Thank Good. you. No problem. Love you too. I love you. Love you. Be okay, I'll be back. Oh, hey, boy. How's it going? Oh, my God. It's actually pretty <laughs> scary. Don't look at me. You actually look horrifying. I can't see anything in here. Can one of you guys walk me downstairs or help me take this off? Are you being for real? Yeah, I can't actually see anything. Oh, I don't like it. As long as you don't look at me. Just don't look at me and I'll help you. I can't even look at you. No, you look time. terrifying. Why do I want you to look at me? Don't look at me. I, I will throw you down the stairs. You're not going to help me. No, you keep looking at me. What the heck? Okay, I'll turn the mask a little bit. Guys, it's, it's tied on. Okay, I have to make it back to the craft corner without falling down the stairs. Really careful. Oh! oh my god! Guys, you've been pranked. It was a dummy the entire time. Look at this. Dummy Robbie. <laughs> back at it again. Dynamic duo. Thanks so much for throwing me, Trev. Hey, no problem. Now let's do a little prank on Tori Dobransky. <laughs> Tori Dobransky. I want to show you something. Oh my god! Oh my god. You've been pranked. It looks very broken, Robbie. I know you always said you wanted to, Robbie. So here you go. That's fine. Well, just keep me company whenever you're filming. Can you give us some like privacy? Tori Bransky, like, what? I'm gonna spend some time with my new boyfriend. Tori Bransky took my dummy. What the heck? You're taking the dummy. I'm taking the cat. No. She's coming with me. She's my kitty now. <laughs> She's my kitty. Okay guys, so here is our gremlin boy. He looks pretty spooky already, but I think I can improve the teeth and also give him more of like a slimy texture. It's very plasticky. 
Also, the ears could be a little bit more creepy. Anyway, let's start out with the teeth. Okay, Mr. Gremlin, sir. I'm gonna be your dentist today. <laughs> So it looks like you got some okay teeth, but we're gonna give you way better teeth. So I'm gonna go ahead and break out our classic acrylic nails. I just gotta cut them down to like this big. Gremlin don't have very big teeth apparently. So now that I perfectly placed this guy right here, I'm gonna move him and we'll start cutting down all of our teeth. Boop, boop, boop. And one down. Okay, there we go. Then we put our guy back and now it's time for me to practice my dentistry. Don't worry, you're in great hands. Let's go ahead and carefully stick it on there. Boom! Now I just have to do that with the rest of them. I kind of like how they turned out. Definitely a lot more creepy. So now we need to make this guy look really slimy. But before we do that, I'm gonna take off his hair. That way I don't mess it up. There we go. And like we do guys, I'm gonna start applying our latex. You see that? I'm gonna be using quite a bit of it. This whole plate is full. Like I said, this should give him a very nice skin-like texture. The trick with this is you wanna put it on kind of thick. I almost think I should have sanded him down first to help the latex stick to him. We're gonna find out if this actually sticks. Okay, and the latex is nice and dry. He definitely looks a lot more slimy, which is exactly what we were going for. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot glue to his gums just so that it blends in a little bit better. So just like Gizmo from earlier, I think I'm gonna make this guy's ears just a little bit longer because they just feel so short to me. They need to be long boys, you know, just long giant flaps of skin. So I'm gonna essentially do the same thing that I did with Gizmo. Do the wire method we used on Gizmo. Boop, boop, boop. That's much better. Compared to this, night and day. So now, just like Gizmo, we're gonna add the wire. Now it's time to flesh out his ears. Now I'm gonna try and repaint his ears. I'm gonna do the flesh color right here and sort of do like the green. I like his side profile, it looks good. So he's looking really good, really solid, really happy with how he's turning out. And now we just have to add his last little fuzz piece. Boom. I just gotta glue that on and maybe add one more little layer of latex to kind of seal everything in. So much latex has gone into this, but basically every time I add a layer of paint, I add a layer of latex over it to kind of seal in all the colors. That way it just won't rub off, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this bad boy on. Okay guys, so this is how our gremlin mask started. You know, very plasticky. The teeth aren't very good. The ears are very short, just to review. And this is how he turned out. Look at him, he's so big I can't even fit him in frame. The teeth are really freaking creepy. This is before and this is after. Look at the difference on that, that's wild. Anyway, let's try it on. So I'm just gonna be wearing this gizmo onesie. It's almost like the gremlin is in disguise. I also don't have a green gremlin onesie. I don't know if they even make them. Um, maybe that should be something I craft next. Let me know down in the comments if you think I should. Here's me wearing the gremlin mask and then I can put the little gizmo hoodie over it. So he's like, he's cosplaying as gizmo. Gizmo, see? <laughs> I'm Gizmo, see? I'm Gizmo. And I'm also Gizmo! <laughs> Let's be Gizmos together, Toby. <laughs> now let's go show the boys. Hey guys, Gremlin coming through. <laughs> as well as I did in the last mask, and I couldn't see very well at all. I don't know where you guys are. Toby, guys. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry, did I mess up your work? All my work's destroyed. Oh, my God. What do you guys think of my gremlin's mask? It smells kind of funny, actually. What about Toby's gremlin mask? <laughs> That's better. He looks better. What would you rate this mask out of 10? Um, I'd say a 7. A 7 out of 10? What he's saying is I had a lot of room for improvement. He won't tell me what to improve on though. Hey intern, what do you think of my gremlin mask? That's Yoda! You're Yoda now! Execute Order 66. Oh my god. You're Yoda from Star Wars! No, if I'm If you're a... going for Yoda, then I give you a 10 out of 10. You've got the white hair and everything. Can we oh fire him? My god. Dude, this is what I get for hiring a Gen Z. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Hey Benj, what do you think of my gremlin mask? Do you like it? What about mine? Do you like mine?
Do you like it? I don't think Benj likes Gremlin Toby. Do you like Gremlin Toby? I don't think he's a fan. Oh wow, the green lighting in Tori's spooky basement hallway looks really good. With the gremlin mask. I'm Tori Dabransky. Come here, we have something to show you. <gasps> And we're cosplaying as Gizmo. Oh, okay. I yeah, like we're it. trying to cosplay. We're trying to be low key about it. Yeah, we're trying to be extra. I can't see anything. Yeah, be careful. There's a step so, here. oh, there's a step there. Oh, thank you. Oh, do you want to carry me? No, 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 oh, I don't. Yeah, no, just carry me. Like that. <laughs> Your little head is so cute. I love gremlins. In case you can't tell, I love gremlins. I love gremlins. They're so cute. Especially this one. I can't see anything. You're so cute. I don't even look. Oh, I'm so my hot. God. Woo! Oh, he was upside down. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this gremlin mask turned out absolutely fantastic. So cute. Can, can you make me one? You want me to make you one? Can you make me Greta? Please? You want me to Please? make you a Greta? Yeah. Wait, a girl gremlin? Please, I want to be Greta. Please, I'll, I'll be Greta forever. Sound good, Tori Dabransky? So yeah, guys, if this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll make Tori Dabransky a Greta gremlin mask. Please. Sound good? Please like the video. It's all I ever wanted in my life. I just want to be Greta. Please. Please like it. If you don't like the video, I will Anyway, I'm gonna go now. So now it's time for a famous horror character. You guys might have heard of him. Freddy Krueger. Especially when he's like flat like that. Look at that. Not so scary now, are ya, huh? <laughs> anyway, how do we make this better? You're probably asking. He already looks really good. I'm asking myself the exact same question right now. But you know exactly what we're gonna do? We're gonna get one of these things that came with all my prosthetics. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I actually did a whole video where I tried professional movie makeup VFX makeup. Up with my friend Cassandra, who's a professional VFX makeup artist. If you guys want to check out that video, you can click right over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this inside of there to kind of hold his face. And then I'm just going to get a towel and also shove that in there. Boom, bam. His face is now in place. I think I might use a different background because he kind of blends in. Here we go. Oh, yes. Slightly better. I mean, it doesn't fit the whole background, but it's fine. So like we do, guys, let's just add a little bit of latex to this bad boy. I don't know what it is about latex, but it always just makes things look a lot better. Just add this latex all over his face, even though this mask is literally made out of latex. We're just starting from square one, really. And all up in his ear holes. Yeah, I give you a wet willy, you like that? Is that good? Okay, and we're just about all done covering this guy in latex. Now we have to let him dry. One hour later. Okay guys, so our Freddy Krueger mask is uh, nice and dry and looking creepier than ever. He has almost like this shine to him. So I think he would look much better if we gave him some teeth. These are just some nightmare fangs that I bought from Spirit Halloween. Real easy, we're just gonna liquid latex. Oh my gosh, and already so much more creepy. Let's See, maybe flip it around. Oh, that's better. He's smiling. So I guess I'm gonna have to liquid latex this on now. That shouldn't be too bad. But the only downside is now he looks almost more like a zombie. So I guess I actually have to trim his teeth. We're just gonna give him some nice flat teeth, just like how he does in the movies. I think I'm doing a pretty good job on this. Yeah, that's definitely looking a lot more Freddy Cougar-like. I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut some of his lips back right here. That way you can't see it underneath his teeth. Yeah, there we go. Look at that smile. Look how happy this guy is. Now we're just gonna get some liquid latex. Just put it all over the back of his mouth. Now we just gotta push this guy on. Boop -a boop I'm gonna use a little bit of the latex to kind of blend it in a little bit. And now we do that thing that I do for most of the video, and that is wait for the liquid latex to dry. <laughs> now I'm gonna take some makeup and hopefully blend this in. The only reason I'm using this makeup is because I don't really trust in my paint blending abilities to come up with a skin tone color. Hopefully this guy's skin tone matches mine, and he really doesn't. But it's fine. I'm gonna make this work. Just gonna blend it all in. See, you can't can't even see the seam. Robbie is a makeup guru. I'm gonna make you look absolutely fantastic, Freddy. All the other girl horror monsters are absolutely gonna love you. Just keep blending, blending, blending. You know, it's not my best work, <laughs> but it'll do, okay? So now that we got him completely covered in concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use a finishing powder. I'm gonna use a paintbrush because I don't wanna use one of my good brushes on this guy. 
So Freddy is looking pretty good. You know, I covered up all of his blemishes and now I basically have to repaint him all on. But when I put him on the table, he's a little bit unstable, just like my mental health. <laughs> Anyways, essentially, I think I'm gonna have to find a better place to put him. So I thought to myself, why not use my stunt double? Oh my gosh, it's the perfect idea. Look how similar we look. I mean, he's essentially the Walmart version of me with the cheaper hat, his hair isn't as cool. Where'd you get this shirt, bro? <laughs> this guy's kind of scary. Like, look at his hands. His hands even look like mine. That's, ugh. <laughs> We're gonna take off his wig, and his head is actually a little bit smaller than mine, so I'm sure this will fit. Perfect. There you go. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. This would have been really handy in all the other Halloween masks I did. If you guys want to watch a playlist of me basically repainting every single spirit Halloween mask, I've done most of them and you can click right here. Anyway, back to Freddy. We're going to repaint you. So now I'm going to take my little makeup palette and do my very best to sort of repaint all of his burn marks. Oh man, this is going to take forever. few moments later. Okay, and this is how he looks. Uh, not looking too bad. Definitely just way redder than before. I tried originally just putting like little bits of purple in all the cracks, but it kind of all just blended in and now he's just a giant red guy. So that's fine, I guess, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and cover his entire face in latex. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna give him a little apron. We don't wanna get that all over his shirt. Boom. Might also put some paper towels on the side. I don't know how much this is actually gonna protect it from the latex, but you know, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm hoping that this will all just kind of blend in and it'll just look a lot like skin, but you know, it could also turn out really bad. So here's to hoping, am I right? Okay guys, I think I may have messed up. Freddy is way, way redder than I thought he would have been. So I think I have to redo his makeup all over. I can't believe I messed up like this. So I guess I'm gonna try my best to cover him back up with makeup and put some, you know, flesh tone back in. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. If anything, I'm hoping that the crevices uh, sort of just stay red like that, and then his skin skin turns like this pale color. I can only hope. I've used way too much makeup on this already. <laughs> Okay guys, so our Freddy mask is now 100% complete. I gave him a little tattered hat because I thought it'd be cute, I thought it'd be fun, and I was completely right. Look at him, look at that smile. Well, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on really quick. Don't mind me, stunt Robbie. Okay, you ready? Oh, my hat fell off. I'll put it back on later, okay. This looks pretty crazy. Put my hat on, maybe tuck in the shirt. Oh wow. This honestly looks pretty nuts. Now let's go show everyone. I actually ordered Subway for everyone earlier, so what better way to give it to them than in a Friday mask? Oh boys, I got you some food. <laughs> Dude, you look disgusting. Like I want to throw up just looking at you. It's horrifying, honestly. You ruined my appetite. You can keep the food. I get to keep all the food? Yeah. All of it. It's all yours now. Lynch, what do you think? He's only interested in the sandwiches. Oh, do you like the mask? I think he likes it. Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, if it ruined my appetite, I think it's pretty good. Did I do a good job repainting this, guys? You repainted it? I, I did. It looks like you got it straight from, like, the store. That's really good, man. I repainted it, and I put in the teeth. This was just a gaping mouth hole before. Wait, yo, for real? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, no, that teeth looks professionally done. Uh, what about you, boy? Do you like my mask? I think you should have left it as a gaping hole. <laughs> Let's see if I can put it through my eye hole. Oh goodness. Oh, 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 Anyway, what about you, Koopa? Do you like my mask? I think he likes it. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Oh, Tori Dabransky! What's up? I repainted this Freddy mask. What do you think? Do I look good? How's my complexion? Honestly, you look pretty good. You look very scary, Robbie. I like the teeth. Did you add those? I added them. They were just a gaping hole before. He looks a lot better with the teeth. It looks really scary. Do you want to give me a kiss? One second. Oh god, no, never mind, I don't, I don't want to give you a kiss anymore, and I'm okay. <laughs> I'm back upstairs, I'm good. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say this was a success. Hey guys, I got that fedora, doesn't it look a lot better? I like it. 
Yeah, that's, that's neat. It's, it's all right. Can we just eat lunch already? I also got this Freddy Krueger hand. Does anyone want me to cut their sandwich for you? No, I just want to um, eat I'm, my sandwich. Yeah, Take that hungry. off and let's eat, dude. Okay. It's part of me now. I gotta go. Um, Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to give a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this. Oh my god! And you can find it right down there. If you guys want to watch me customize even more spirit Halloween masks, I actually I have an entire playlist where I do that right here. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Onward, Eddie. Okay, bye. Oh!